to actually create this shape um, I've gone for a draw paint new sprite instead of importing one now you could have one that you've got from um, the internet or one that you've drawn on another piece of software that you could bring in using this one but you could draw it yourself by clicking on here so this is now set up a new sprite, it hasn't got a name at the moment so I could call this one before I started I could click on the info and I could call it maze2 okay and then I come over here and I've got various options so this is my drawing palette that's for drawing straight lines now a quick hint if I want to draw a line that is completely straight all I do is hold down shift whilst I drag so I've chosen my line tool I've, I'll choose a color so black's a good one to, to use because it gets the walls like this this is the thickness of my wall so I can make it bigger or smaller and if I want to draw a line say across here I just hold down shift as I drag I'm going to leave a gap for the starting point okay I'm going to go up I'm going to go across I'm going to leave a, an exit point somewhere I'm going to try and work out how to get these so that they match up. Now, if my line is not quite as thick as I went off the edge of it, I can always go over it again. And basically, anywhere where I want to put part of my maze, I just hold down Shift and I draw my lines. If I want to make spaces in them afterwards, I can always erase a little bit of a gap. And basically, you'll see as I go through, this thing builds the sprite. So I can come back and edit it again afterwards, or I can do it all in one go. If I get anything wrong, I can use the undo here to undo the last thing I've done. Um, and, and it's very like using paint. So that's the best way of making up your, um, your sprite. I'll click here to go back to those sprites. Um, if I could have actually put, if I stay on that sprite, I could have put a background color into it if I wanted to. So I'll do a fill color. So I wanted my whole thing to be yellow in the background. I can click in there and it will make that sprite yellow. Now you can see over on this side, that sprite's not in the center of the screen. All I would do is grab it and move it, position it where I wanted to. So that's covering up my original sprite at the moment. So I'm, I don't, don't want to use that one. I'm going to get rid of that again. Hit delete. But that's how I, I made the first one. Uh, the pink dot was exactly the same thing. All I did was I, I created a new sprite and drew a pink square in the middle of it doesn't matter what color I use the reason that I want a color of something is that I can program it to say that when my character hits a particular color stop the game so that's how that part of it works